Hey, this is Philip with Go Web Examples. In this video, I would like to show you what tools you need to start developing in Go. The first tool we have to install is the Go compiler, which we can grab from the official Go website, which is golang.org. Now head to the download section and download the appropriate version for your operating system. In my case, I'm using Linux, but if you're working on Mac OS or Windows, you can use either of those. So let's click on one to download it and wait for the download to complete. Once it's done, we can open up a terminal and navigate to the downloads folder where we find our compiler. Now we have to extract it and Go recommends to extract it to the USR local directory. So let's do that by copying this handy command, paste it in and add sudo in front because the usr local directory can only be written to with the root user. So let's execute that and enter our password and verify the extraction was correct by ls la user local go and we can see here are all the files. Now with that done we have to modify our .profile file which we find in our home directory. So let's edit that, nano, and go to the end of the file. Here we have to make changes to the path environment variable, which specifies where our system should look for binary files. So we can go back to the page again and copy this line here and paste it at the end of the file. Now another thing we have to export is the home directory of our user. In my case, it's home go web and then slash go slash bin. This is necessary when we want to use tools which were downloaded by the go command, for example, with go get, but we will see that in the future, but it's very handy to put it in already. So let's close that file and save it. And that's it. A thing I would recommend to you is to restart your computer so your system can reread the .profile file, which is only read once the system boots. So the path gets updated to all of your terminal instances or your IDE, for example. Now that we are done with that, we can close everything and open up our IDE. In my case, it's Visual Studio Code. Let's head to the extensions tab and search for Go. We have to download the Go extension, which was made by Microsoft. Let's go ahead and install that one. Wait for it to complete. And once it's done, on your keyboard, press Ctrl Shift P to open up the quick actions menu and search for Go install tools. Let's execute this command and we will be prompted with a list of tools which Visual Studio Code uses in the background to help you develop Go applications. So let's check all of them, hit enter to install all of them. Now Visual Studio Code will install all the tools and we will have to wait for them to complete installing. All right, as we can see, we are ready to go. So let's close the extension page and the terminal and open up a new folder and check our installation was successful. Let's create a new hello world file. And for that, I create a new folder, hello world, which I'm going to open. And in that, I will create a new file, which I call main.go. So let's write in the package declaration with package main and the entry point of our Go program, which is going to be func main. And here we can enter our hello world code by writing func.println hello world. So let's save that and it should automatically import the func package. And then we can open up a terminal, type in go run main.go and we can see everything works correctly.